hello everyone so today's lecture is going to be very interesting as we are going to discuss about the model of the diode and the first model is the exponential uh, model which is the most realistic model of the diode in this model you can see that on your screen that i have drawn a graph and i am showing x axis with the voltage across the diode and y axis with the current across the voltage and we can see at this graph that whenever we apply a voltage source around across the diode till certain value there is no current passes through it this voltage is called the threshold voltage minimum voltage required to do the conduction and usually it's around 0.6 volt as soon as uh, the diode uh, uh, increase its voltage across it uh, through 0.6 voltage the increase in current is exponential and th this is the real picture of the diode and the current of diode is usually proportional to the exponential of voltage so the uh, amount of voltage you increase after threshold voltage the current increase exponentially this is the most realistic picture but of course this is hard to use in the designing and when we are uh, solving the circuit at beginners level so we consider other two models which are more easier to accommodate in the designing so the another model is piecewise model in piecewise model we can we replace diode with an ideal diode followed by a battery source and a resistor the battery source is usually of 0.65 volt and resistor we call it rd is of 20 ohms this is replaced by a real diode so to do conduction through this diode you need to apply at least 0.65 volt because we are considering that diode has an internal voltage source of 0.65 volt hence to conduct to do conduction through it you need voltage more than 65 volt otherwise the electric field inside the diode is that much greater that it will not let the current pass through it as soon as you reaches to the point of 0.65 voltage the current in start increasing which is a slope of resistance so we all know that v is equal to ir and hence current is v over r or you can say current is increasing with the slope of the rd so this is an another model which also give you uh, somehow realistic view not uh, at as accurate as ac uh, exponential model but uh, you can replicate exponential model with this piecewise model and uh, this will give you approximately 99 percent or 98 percent correct answers and uh, there is an another model which is used at beginner level and the model which i always state that consider uh, silicon diode has a 0.7 volt drop in this case we consider a ideal diode followed by a battery sorry we consider a ideal diode followed by a battery source and the battery source is of 0.7 volt and hence to do conduction through this ideal diode you need a voltage source greater than 0.7 volt and the graph of this is something like that that when whenever you give it voltage around 0.7 volt the current increases to it maximum capability so uh, this is also not much wrong because if you look at the exponential model you can see that the voltage is start increasing at 0.6 volt and this is the region where maximum current increase so you can also omit this region because this is a very minute current so if you look at the voltage across this reason region so it's around 0.68 
to 0.72 so if i am considering 0.7 volts so i can say that the i have a <clears throat> in accuracy of 0.02 volt so this is the tolerance of our result so this is not that much bad so this is the major reason reason we usually use 0.7 volt while we are uh, solving the uh, circuit this uh, help us a lot in solving the circuit so that's all for today if you guys have any questions please ask me and don't forget to subscribe thank you